in last episode we visited Kaunertal Glacier. We admired historical church towers on Lago di Resia. We saw great and unusual museum. We rode over Stelvio Pass. And we had this wonderful sunset to admire on our way to Bormio. In this one we ride over Paso Gavia where we had a seeing problem. We finally got into Switzerland through Umbrail Pass. We paid 13 Swiss francs for a very claustrophobic tunnel. And we beat it 17 hairpins up to Sitori di Fraele with its tower standing above beautiful Bali. My name is Piotr and here is the 7th episode of our series From Norway to Alps. Good morning my neighbors! Ah! You! <laughs> yes, yes, you too! <laughs> Do you see the weather now? It's perfect. We don't need those bastards today. I'm shaved and beautiful one more time. Like a newborn baby. <laughs> Only that way, not that way. Let's pick up our bikes now. This is a road between Stelvio and Gavia. So the traffic here with motorcycles is... Uh, yeah, there are many here. We are going on Gavia Pass which is, uh, I heard, one of the most amazing, scariest, dangerous passes here. Del Gavia, Della Gavia, Paso Gavia. <laughs> I like this passage very. It's like in Norway, you know, though the road is very curvy. The landscape is Norwegian, I, was, I might say. Why yeah. Norwegian? Why Norwegian? Because it's not empty. There is like many rocks beside rivers and glaciers and snow everywhere. So I think it's, uh, hmm, it's pretty unusual here. like it was in the Bond movie, in the song, this is the end. <laughs> we are not going further on Paso de la Gavia, because there is nothing to see, because we have clouds. So we are coming back and we are going to Switzerland now. Bye bye. <laughs> In previous episode you could see that we had almost no traffic at Stelvio and I really believe that the cause of that was the very evening that we were there. We had in that luck on the next day as the amount of bikes and cars was terrible and we did Stelvio from the southern part which is called the easier one. Imagine what would happen on the harder part. After some time we managed to get to Amber Pass finally and soon after we reached the Switzerland, first time on this trip. Amber Pass was a great start of our Switzerland experience. Beautiful landscape, great mountains, very very curvy road. Riding down to Val Muster represents great views and narrow road with many herpes. This pass gets 100% our recommendation. Of course, there is no day on our trip without rain. Right before Fuorn Pass we rode into a big rain cloud. 10 minutes of rain was enough to make us pretty wet, but we saw nice blue sky on our way, so we didn't put rain shoes on us. 
For me, the worst part is when I'm already a little wet and then I'm putting rain suit. Then the humidity can get out and instead of being dried by wind later, I am steaming myself inside. Welcome in Switzerland! There is a proof, there is a flag, we are in Switzerland, we are here just for like 50, 50 kilometers, but uh, still. Now we are 20 kilometers from Italian border and we are coming back to Italy. fast way to get to Italy near Fuorn Pass is through tunnel that leads to Livigno Lake and the dam where is paying booth. We had to pay 13 Swiss francs for that route. The tunnel has just one lane and is about 4 km long so check timetables to avoid long waiting time for your turn to ride. Right after the tunnel the view opens and the ride here is very scenic, really beautiful way to get to the Italy. We are in Italy again, this road from uh, Switzerland and we are trying to boil water to make some coffee and it's windy as hell so we had to build and construction yeah so uh, yeah hard hard uh, times makes uh, hard solutions <laughs> They are afraid of water. Oh no! No! Adventure time! Adventure time! And we have beautiful panoramic view. While riding down through alpine villages and towns we were amazed how tight the streets were and how close were buildings one to another. We rode down to town Predelle just to start riding up again to our main point for today, Torri di Fraele, a very scenic road with 17 hairpins that leads to two towers standing above the valley. From them you can really admire the area and the landscape there. We have a problem with paying, because our tra transactions are declined. Approved. Approved. Oh. Printing in progress, okay, so we done it. Our Norwegian card are declined. And we have it, that's our ticket, so now finally we can go and see this. being up there try to ride past the towers and up to the dam on the lake. From there you will have really stunning view on the area. At first we wanted to ride around the whole lake but it was already late and it's very good to leave something for the next time here. And I didn't see any no entry sign to go around the lake so if any one of you know if it's possible just let me know in the comments please. This was a beautiful day and we fulfilled all our plans, so this was an extra happy thing for us. From Torre di Fraele we had only 25 minutes to Bormio. This was our last day together with guys. They had shorter holidays than us and they needed to go home already. We planned to eat a lot of Italian pizza this day and we were very hungry, so I will say just that we got to our place a little faster than navigation said. Remember to like the video and sub to the channel if you haven't yet. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode. Bye!